Today, we celebrate the 7th European Day on the Protection of Children Against Sexual Exploitation and Sexual Abuse. We celebrate it also this year with the awareness that the pandemic emergency we faced and are still facing has created new inequalities and worsened the already existing ones, while exacerbating violence and abuse against children that is unfortunately thriving in children's anxiety and loneliness. As revealed by many surveys at the European and international level, COVID-19 had a significant impact on the vulnerability of children, as both children and sex offenders found themselves confined indoors for extended periods of time. In many countries, the quantity of online child sexual abuse material and access to it have increased, as well as the perpetration of online sexual abuse offenses. Moreover, victims may have been in lockdown with the offenders in their own house, which should have been their safe place. During this pandemic, parents may have had limited opportunities to effectively control their children, while struggling to combine work from home and professional commitments, whereas in some cases, parents managed to dedicate increased time for online control, thus reducing the risk for their children. Indeed, the global impact of COVID-19 means people are spending more time online, especially children. Therefore, in this historical moment when the internet represents both an incredible source of opportunities for learning and socialization for children and the most dangerous environment at the same time, Childhood and its specific vulnerabilities must be recognized in digital settings and it is the responsibility of both the governments and the technological sector around the world to ensure that this happens. As governments, our common objective must be to ensure the effectiveness of legislative and regulatory measures to heavily sanction those who violate children's rights online and offline and provide child-friendly and accessible information for children on the risk they could incur in when surfing the web. Special support should also be provided for children who have been affected by online and offline violence, exploitation or abuse with a child-centered approach. Child-friendly information should also be provided on the mechanism children could use to report concerns about harmful content, violence and abuse, and to make complaints across all industry and government sectors, including social media, technology companies, and internet service providers. Child sexual exploitation and sexual abuse is the most heinous negation of children's dignity and the most reprehensible violation of their human rights. It is therefore our responsibility, both as adults and governments, to listen to our children, to give them voice and hope, and ensure the full recognition and protection of their rights. This is what Italy is committed to do and will continue to do, in line with the Lanzarote Convention, in collaboration with the Council of Europe and its other member states, as well as with the precious help of civil society organizations. Because preventing and combating child sexual exploitation and sexual abuse must always be our common priority. Protecting children's rights is the only way we have to build the communities of tomorrow. And we will manage to do that only if we do it together. So thank you very much for your attention.